And then uh, on the last one, we will talk about the experiment and results. Mm, okay, for experiment and result, they use uh, three data sets. The first one is Pascal 2012, and the second one is Pascal 2007, and the third one they use Microsoft Coco. And I have to emphasize that Microsoft Coco has a larger, uh, large number of training data sets. So you can you just you can just see this number to this numbers. So Microsoft Coco have a uh, larger uh, data sets, and uh, Microsoft Coco have. 80 object categories okay and whereas for pascal it's only have 20 object categories so uh microsoft coco is super set of pascal because all of object in pascal here uh microsoft coco has okay uh, the first experiment is try to compare faster rcnn to fast rcnn which is use external proposers here ss selective search and eb its box okay for this is the training times and this is the test time and then you can just see here the map and for faster rcnn using zf architecture the map is a little bit better than we use external proposers but but i have to emphasize that uh, the benefit is not only the better performs but uh, the better in testing time okay because for selective search to propose the regions it needs 1.5 seconds okay one half seconds but for rpn we only uh, need 3 to 10 milliseconds, which is really, really faster compared to external proposers. And then the second experiment, we will try to examine the effect of ablations. What is ablation? In dictionary, ablation is uh, the reduction of size. The, the, the size reductions of ice, iceberg, or glaciers because of an erosion. Okay? So in this case, Ablations mean we try to reduce one component by one component. For example, we will turn off NMS, we will turn off CLS layer, we will turn off the regression layer, and we will see the effect to the MAP value accuracy. Okay, the first one we will try to investigate the effect of sharing CNN and not sharing unshared cnn what is this i need to show you again here sharing means we in training phase we use one two three four steps so we do step three and four for fine tuning but answering answered means we only do step one and step two okay so the result is uh, a little bit worse a little bit worse compared to if we use short versions why okay of course because uh, for sharing versions we do fine tuning in the step three and step four so the effect is this decreasing a little bit and the second experiment we will try to uh, investigate the, if the effect of nms non-maximal suppressions what is nms i will uh, remind you here okay we have many anchor shares and we reduce by this one and by applying NMS. Okay. So uh, before applying NMS, we have uh, 6,000 anchors. And by applying NMS, we have, uh, wait, we have 2,000 anchors, right? And here is only use uh, 1,000, 300, and 100 anchors. Why? We choose these numbers regarding the top rank the best anchors regarding the iou value or regarding the probability value of classifiers right so we can just rank it and pick the 100 top 300 top and 1000 top best anchors and you can see here 
you can see here that no M no NMS uh, has fifth 50 55.2 MAP and for um, applying NMS still similar 55.1 yeah so and for um, this one is this one even better I don't know maybe yeah this is just an experiment and we can infer for this part of experiment that NMS doesn't harm the accuracy so instead we can take the benefit of being lighter for its computing load okay and the second one we will try to examine the effect of by turning off the CLS layers so again I will remind you what is CLS CLS is a part that can classify whether this anchor is content object and this anchor is con not contain object and will output the probability of contain containing object and the probability of not containing object right so by not having CLS we cannot do a ranking which anchor is better which anchor is uh, has a high probability to contain object okay so the uh, consequence is we only randomly selected I mean we only randomly select randomly sample the end proposal for unscored regions unscored regions mean because we have no classifiers so we have no score here okay so just seeing the effect here for 100 the accuracy is really 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 totally decreased significantly decreased here for 55.1 become 44.6 it's really uh, decreased okay and you can just see in the other uh, proposal here for 300 proposals decrease about uh, five percent and for 1000 proposal it decrease about uh, only one yeah only less than one yeah because we use one 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 thousand of 2000 anchors so it's already a half anchors so if you randomly select this yeah it's it's still it's still better compared to if we only use 100 it makes sense and the second one we will try to examine if we turn off regressions mm, layers so by turning off these regression layers is the proposal is the anchors because we don't have regressions box so the proposal is just the anchors and just see the result here from 56.8 we have 52.1 the difference is about mm, uh, 7 right 7 7 percent and also this one is about mm, 5 percent okay yeah this is the effect and then mm, okay for rpn versus vgg we have a better result compared to uh if we uh, use ZF architecture, the next one is experiment on using VGG. Uh, this one you can just see here. Uh, using VGG compared to using external method, selective search. Uh, yeah, you can just see here for third versions we have better result compared to this one okay we have three percent better than external external method and i put again uh compared to when we use zf net zf net is here and vgt is here so vgt using vgt is better than when we use zf net it makes sense because VGT architecture have deeper, deeper uh, dimensions. So VGT has uh, more capability to perform better on the accuracy result. Okay. Mm, 
and this is for timing experiment the timing is in milliseconds and it tests in GPU this CPU and for selective search test in CPU okay you can just see here to generate proposals it only need 3 or 10 for VGG millisecond it's really fast so we can just mention that that is a nearly cost free right and you can just see here the frame per seconds for VGG RPN fast RCNN faster RCNN okay we have 5 frames per second and for ZFnet we have uh, 70, 17 frames per second but the, uh, the accuracy is still good for uh, if we use VGG and see here for uh, selective search it will need about um, one half seconds compared to this number this is really slow okay and the next part we will try to examine if we uh, change the hyperparameters okay and we try to examine use difference uh, setting of anchors uh, ideally we use three scales and three ratios and for VGG we get this MAP but 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 if we use only one scale and one ratio we use only uh, we only get this MAP is a uh, decrease about mm, three yeah three percent but the interesting one is the interesting one is if we use three scale and one ratio we still get a good MAP only difference uh, 0 0.1 so we can infer that uh, scale here is met is, is more matter than ratio and then we try to investigate by using different uh, amount of proposals here you can just see here okay so we can just use 300 proposal and we still good we still get a good result on MAP okay and we try to investigate the effect of lambda here I put here lambda lambda is constant it is a constant in loss functions in poker crasher shares and we can just see here that the difference of lambda not really have impact in the MAP yeah only small impact and only small effect on the MAP value and we can just choose this value 10 okay and this is the curve for recall and IOU IOU here means here okay if we change the I the IOU here we will change the recall okay the recall value and we can just see here this is the most interesting part in this page uh, if we use 300 proposals okay and you can see here the red one the blue one is uh, faster RCNN using ZFnet and VGG uh, 16 net and for EB and selective search is decrease significantly for using only three proposals and for RPN and uh, RPN ZF, ZFnet and RPN VGG net is still good okay and then the next experiment is we use Microsoft Coco datasets. Okay. Mm, this one and this one, the difference is uh, on IOU. In this one, negative anchors we define IOU for uh, from 0 0.1 to 0 0.5, and for this one we define 0.0. .0 until 0 0.5 and the effect is yeah is rel relatively little bit better if we consider 0, 0.0 as a negative anchors okay and mm, we use faster RCNN here okay proposals 300 and we use coco uh, microsoft coco and then we can just see here we can compare using fast rcnn which is from external proposers 
and faster RCNN which is using RPN that shares CNN block get a better result compared to if we use external okay we get a better accuracy and we get uh, faster on test time test time so faster rcnn is really better than fast rcnn yeah and you can maybe you can uh, maybe you ask why this map is really really small compared to this map why because this map is from pascal matrix so for just the the prediction is correct they only consider 0.5 iou but for microsoft Coco, they use this metric and they will judge for iou 0.5 0 0.55 0 0.6 0 0.65 blah 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 until 0.9 so from 0 0.5 increment 0 0.05 until 0 0.9 they will judge for all IOU and just take the average value. So, this is really, really more difficult than Pascal. So, that's why this is smaller compared to Pascal. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I forget to tell that for MS Coco, since the MS Coco, it is, has a high, high, high probability that the object in, in Microsoft Coco is uh, appear small so we add one scale 64 one scale for uh, anchor okay here and the interesting part I want to say that uh, they uh, try to use CNN ResNet ResNet 101 okay 101 and it is increased for the performs from 45 point uh, 441.5% to to 48.7% for this one this one okay yeah resnet is a cnn architecture also funded by microsoft researchers so yeah <laughs> microsoft is uh, really good in in uh, on researching object uh, on researching to make a good detector in object detections and this is the last part of the experiments mm, we will try to investigate the effect of by using a larger number of training data we know that microsoft coco larger number on training data compared to pascal right so here we just compare here if we use only Pascal 2007 and Pascal 2007 plus 2012 we get better accuracy here but if we only train Microsoft Coco compared to these two guys we get a better result again why? because Microsoft Coco has about 80,000 data training Whereas for Pascal, it's only have uh, around to uh, twenty thousand training training data, so it makes sense. Uh, more training data set will generate better result in MAP. Okay, and for the other value, you can just see here. Okay, and the last one I want to show you. This is the quality results of faster RCNL. This is really interesting, right? You can just see here. This is a uh, image that have uh, many objects in this image, and you can see here that this object appears so small. This object appears so small. Uh, even you see with your eyes, maybe some of you will guess wrong. What is this object? And faster RCNNs can still perform good on recognizing this small object. So this is really really interesting. And uh, finally, we uh, add the summary. So the summary is the first: a region proposal network sharing convolution convolutional features with object detection network makes region generation step nearly cost free. So since RPN 
and fast RCNN as detector using same same CNN. So to produce proposal regions only need about 10 millisecond, which is really 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 fast compared to if we use external proposal proposal for example using selective search. And the second one is the quality of proposal is improved with RPM in faster RCNN compared to if we use external proposal like selective search and edge box. And the last is object detection system have about fifth and a uh, fifth frame per second for VGG and 17 frame per second for ZFNet. Okay? And finally, thank you for watching.